Hi everybody! Welcome back to my channel. Angel here with Angel's Heavenly Nails and I have something I would like to share with you guys. I'd like to share a journey with you. Um, I've had a few people um, add me to, uh, we've been added to Facebook together and they've seen some photos of me. I've been on a weight loss journey and they were really shocked and they've been asking about it and I told them I'm going to share this on YouTube. Um, it is the reason that I am YouTubing today. I would not be doing it if it wasn't for the weight loss that I've been on. And I just want to share it with you guys and let you know that this is truly not a diet. This is a way of life. It is truly how everybody should be eating. This was designed for people that need to gain weight, people that need to lose weight, and people that need to maintain weight. We should all be eating this way. Um, I am a Christian. Let's start with that. I'm a Christian and I fully 100% believe in God. I give all the glory to him. I love him. He has been with me through my entire life, my journey of my heart condition and all the different things. If any of you follow me and know um, about my health problems that I have, God has been with me every step of the way and I couldn't do it without him. Um, but the reason I wanted to explain this to you guys is I've told you in the beginning, I've had a few bumps in the road. And um, after my car accident in 2005, I was pretty much bedridden for like two years. I have all lower back problems. I have some bulging discs. I have some uh, deterioration. And um, it caused me to put on a lot of weight after I had that accident. I was never really a heavy child or even into my young adult life or whatever. I did put a lot of weight on when I got pregnant with my son, but that was due to my heart condition. I did not know most of it. 50 pounds alone of it was water weight. Um, so that was probably the heaviest I ever was in my life. Um, I was like 180 when I got pregnant with my son. I'm five foot two, so 180 still is overweight. Um, but I was like 180 and I was like almost 280 when I delivered him. So that was probably the heaviest I'd ever been in my life. And um, I had to lose weight. I just knew I did. I had put on a lot of weight from 2005 until um, 2015 is when I started this diet in November. And um, so I just want to share with you guys what I did. Um, if I get a little emotional here, I'm sorry, but I just am so happy of the person I am now. I'm so much more confident in who I am because I really was lost. I had, you know, developing a heart condition at the age of 22, um, being told I have the heart of an 83-year-old and I would never bear any more children. I almost died. Um, it was pretty scary. So, you know, that alone was scary. And then to have the car my dad to pass away and that was hard. And um, I developed anxiety really bad and depression really bad. So I'm sorry, guys, if I get emotional. I'm just, it's a, it's a happy thing for me right now. But I've been through a lot in my life. And today, I know that I YouTube and I do my nails. Um, the reason I do that is because I will be in front of the camera now. And I'm happy to be. But what I want to share with you is when I had the accident in 2005, when I started putting on all that weight, I just kept myself hid away and my depression and Anxiety got really bad. I was on medication for it. I also developed agoraphobic. I couldn't go out anywhere. I didn't want to be seen in the public. I just didn't like who I was. So um, my family, our family struggles with weight. That's the reason my dad had passed away. He was very overweight and um, he died very young. My dad was only 48 when he passed away. And um, rest in peace, daddy. Um, so we, ourself, like in our family, we struggle with weight and all of us do and we decided one day that we would you know make ourselves healthy because we didn't want to leave our children like our dad left us so we my brother searched for a way a, a good diet for my oldest or my youngest brother um, who struggles with weight really bad he searched a diet for him a way that he could do and that would be something he would enjoy and my brother did it my other brother who searched it he did it and then my son did it and I'm watching them too. They did this started in September of 2015. And I'm going to stop my camera right now and I'm going to show you some photos. They started 2015 of September. And my brother, Robbie, the first four months, he worked out with it. But the first four months, he had pulled off over 100 pounds. And my son, in just a little over a year, he didn't exercise with it. But a little over a year, he pulled off over 100. And I'm going to stop right here and show you a couple photos of them real quick.
Isn't that just amazing? It's so amazing, Robbie, what you did. That's my brother and my son, Dylan. Honey, you are the reason I have fought to stay alive for you. Because in the beginning, my heart was so bad. I don't know how I made it through other than the good Lord in heaven has kept me here for you. And I'm sorry, Mommy, let myself go for so long. But I won't do that again. Never, ever will I ever be the person I was. Because losing Dad was the hardest thing that I ever had to go through. I don't want you, Dylan, to have to go through that. And I have to stay this way and keep the weight off for my heart to be strong so I can be here. Because you are the greatest thing that ever happened to me. I may have only got to have one child. But Dylan, you're perfect in every way and the greatest gift God ever gave me. And I love you more than I could ever tell you. Thank you for being so strong because you made me the woman I am today. I'll be right back, guys. Can you believe that? Isn't that crazy? So when I was seeing my brother and my son start to lose weight and do this, I thought, I can't do this anymore. I can't sit around and watch them losing weight and me just continue to eat bad and not, you know, do what they're doing. Um, because I could not work out, this was a wonderful way of eating for me that I could still lose weight. And it is called the ketogenic diet. I will post that down in my box so you guys can search that. And all it means, the ketogenic just means, it's a big word for fat burning mode. We eat extreme low carb, high protein, and higher fat is what we eat. There is a website, and I will link that down in my box too. It is Low Carb High Fat LCHF on Facebook. You can search that, read the pin post, and it'll tell you how to eat. What we do on this is it's actually the Atkins Phase 1. We never leave Phase 1. Our body is always in a state of ketosis. And please don't let that scare you. We are born in ketosis. We choose to pull ourselves out of it by the way that we eat. So it's very safe and very, you know, very... Um, I love the way I eat. Let's just put it that way. I love the way I eat. I can go out and eat a great big giant triple burger with bacon and cheese and mayo, not the ketchup because that's higher carb, but eat that. I just don't eat the bun. I don't eat the french fries, stuff like that. I don't eat, we don't eat grains or sugar. That's what we don't do on this diet. But we, the fats are so good for us. When you don't put the two together, the carb and the fat together, it is so healthy for you. Fats are really good for you, like nuts and olive oil and butter and mayo cheese all that is so healthy for your body and we can eat that it's unbelievable how I eat and yet you know I, I've lost all this weight um, so going back a little bit I started November 2015 and this is what I look like I'll show you a picture of before and after real quick So you see, when I, sorry, when I look at that, I can't believe I was there. I can't believe how I let myself go like that, how I had put on so much weight and how unhealthy I was and how bad that was for my heart. It wasn't healthy for me the way I was going and I was weak and fatigued. I didn't feel good at all. I was too scared to even go in and have my heart looked at. I had went six years without even having my heart looked at because I was too scared of what was going to happen. I was getting severe palpitations all day long. And I'm just emotional because I can't believe how much I changed in 15 months. I've lost 125 pounds. I've got 11 more pounds to go. I started at 265. I weigh 141 right now. And I'd like to see myself at 130, and I will get there. I'm still losing and still doing great, so I will be there. But it's been an emotional road, you know, ride for me because seeing the weight come off is just, I just bloom now. I'm the person I always wanted to be. I am me now, and I can express who I am now. I feel so much better. I don't feel, I feel normal now. When I walk into a store, nobody turns and stares at me and... The world is so judging. The world is so judging and they're so mean. And, you know, I always felt out of place. I didn't feel, you know, like, it was weird. I always had to go to a plus size store to get clothes. And there's nothing wrong with that. I sh should never have been felt to feel that way, but I did. And anybody out there that's overweight, don't get me wrong. You, I love you all. I don't think anything bad of you if you are overweight. It's just, I want to tell you something that will help you and you will feel amazing. I have felt so good 
eating this way, I can't even describe it. You won't know until you do it. But the first three months of doing this, my blood work, I had high blood pressure, high cholesterol for 18 years, high triglycerides, and I had pre, I was pre-diabetic. Three months after doing this way of eating, my blood numbers are perfect. You couldn't get better numbers than what I have. So every time I go to the doctor and they do blood work, it just keeps coming back amazing. And even my doctor is blown away by this. I was told by all six doctors it's safe to do, it's safe to eat this way, but they're just amazed. They're just like, I can't believe you've stuck with this this long. I am not a cheater. I do not cheat. I do not go out of keto. I stay with the diet, the way I'm eating, and I eat this way because I feel so good. I don't want to you know, eat bad. Every once in a while to remind myself of why I don't like that stuff, I will do something and, and splurge a little bit, and I've only done it twice in 15 months, and I'll tell you what. It wasn't fun. I did it, I ate it, I felt like crap, and I went right back to the way I'm eating and I feel so good. I cannot express to you guys how good this feels. I am going to load photos at the end. I've got lots of photos of me before, which I never, ever would have showed anybody photos of me like this. But I'm gonna show you and you are going to see what this diet does to people. Even the way I looked to the way I look today, people don't believe that I am 41 years old. They don't believe me because it also takes years off your look and everything because when you eat low carb, your body hates carbs. Carb is has no significant value or at all other than it's an energy source. That's all it is, but we can get that energy source from fat, good fats that are good for you and protein. Our body starves for protein. So I eat like about 110 to 120 grams of protein a day with foods and shakes and I eat for fat. I started at about 70 to 80 grams of fat and now I'm up higher because I need that as an energy source because I've lost all the fat off my body now so I don't have more of an energy source. So now I eat like 100 to 110 grams of fat a day. The more fat I eat that, the better I feel. Now I don't want to go too much fat, but I feel amazing and everything is still, the overall outcome of me is still really good. And then my carb is only 20. I only eat 20 grams of carbs a day and 98% of that is in my veggies. We don't eat carbier fruits. I, it's hard to explain this whole thing, so I want you guys to search that low carb, high fat, and go in there and read the pin post. It'll tell you the foods you can eat, what you can't eat, and explain your whole way of eating on this. You gotta understand this, you gotta read it, and you gotta do it right, because if you don't do it right, it won't work. If you do it right, it's foolproof. It's completely foolproof. I have lots of family and friends that have done this, and they just feel and look amazing. So I can't express that enough, but I wanted to share this with you guys because I've never found a way of eating better than this one that actually works because I couldn't work out. There's no way I could, yet I lost in the first year over a hundred and some pounds in the first year just by the way I ate. That's all it was. And it's crazy how I'll sit down, I'll eat a big old steak and like some green beans or some broccoli or spinach or whatever with lots of butter on it. And I eat like that and yet I lose weight. It's just crazy how the weight was just melting off of me and how good I feel. Well. I had, like I said, I had a few people come in and say, I want to know what you did, why you look amazing. So that's what I did. And I, I, I just wanted to share it with the world, shout it out to the world. I'm so excited about this. And I know it's not about nails, but it's the reason I YouTube today now. So I hope that you guys will search this, will try it, will we'll, we'll give it a, a chance. I know you guys are going to think the same way I did. How did you give up your carbs? Because that is rice, that is pasta, that is bread, that is potatoes. I mean, I don't eat any of that anymore. So yes, at first I thought it was gonna be hard, but when I was doing it and seeing the, the pounds just melt off, here's how I looked at it. I eat to live, not live to eat anymore. And that's what I do. I didn't care what I was eating, yet the foods are amazing. I didn't care what I was eating as long as my body was healthy and the weight was coming off. When I looked in the mirror, nothing tasted better to me than the feeling of seeing myself in the mirror of that new person that I was. And the, the, the shine that came off of me. I get people all the time that tell me, you just sparkle and shine now. Like, it's, you're just a totally different person. So that's why I want you guys to give it a try. Don't, don't, don't doubt it. Don't say, I can't do it. There's no way I can do it. You can do it. You definitely can do it. And when you start feeling the way I feel, you will want to do it. And because I did it, I went in and I had my heart checked. My heart is 40 to 45. Again, that is not a normal function like everybody else, but it's way better than it's ever been. I was 35 six years ago, 35%, um, percent, and now I'm 40 to 45. And 
it's definitely a lot easier on my heart to pump with this weight off of me. My palpitations are like near to nothing now. Every once in a while I'll get one, but I do suffer from that because of my anxiety. But my anxiety has improved so much from this too. This helps OCD, it helps anxiety, it helps heart palpitations. It just, it helps so many things, acne. It, it helps so many things. I also have PCOS. I don't know if any of you know what that is. It's polycystic ovarian syndrome. I was on medication for that too, and people that have that struggle with weight, again, this diet, I've lost so much weight. I'm off meds for that. I don't even take meds for that. And I was on like 15 meds for my heart. I'm on two, two meds for my heart, and it's really a low dose because my blood pressure was getting so low, the doctor had to reduce these meds, and I'm still doing fantastic. I, that's why I want to shout it to the world. Like this is such an amazing way to eat. I want anybody and everybody that can do it to try it because you're going to feel amazing like I do. And I can't express that enough. And anybody out there that is thin but still eats bad and feels sluggish or tired or whatever, even you should be eating this way. This diet was designed for even people for maintaining weight and feeling amazing because you will because I know skinny people that have had heart attacks that have died because of clogged arteries and things that are happening to them so don't think because you're skinny that you can eat whatever you want you can't our bodies were not designed for that so I just would like to share that with you guys and I hope you guys try it I thank you for watching this video for coming in and at the end here I'm gonna share some photos like I said before and afters of mine and you can just see how much happier of a person I am. I will lose the rest of what I wanna lose, it's 11 pounds and I will get that off and when I do I will tell you guys all about it. I will be crying that day because it'll be the greatest day in my life when I finally hit that goal. But right now the weight I am is the skinniest I have ever been since an adult. I have never been this thin, this is the thinnest I've been and I'm just so happy, so happy of the way I look and the way I feel. I was in a size, 24 jean. I now wear a size 7, 8. Um, I wore a size 3X to 4X shirts. Well, most, mostly 3X. I now wear a medium. Some larges, but mostly medium. I just can't believe that's like the smallest I've ever been. It's just crazy. So again, I, I hope I haven't rambled on for too long because this is a nail channel and I want to just do my beautiful nails and I'm getting ready to do a set right now that I'll be loading on Valentine's Day, the one I'm doing in collaboration with two very beautiful and lovely ladies. I'm excited about that. So anyways, but I'm gonna get going here on the photos and I wanna share those with you guys. And I really hope you guys try this and I hope you feel just as amazing as I do and my brother and my son. My son was 17 when he did this. He's 18, almost 19 now. He is, I mean, look at him. He's so good looking and just he feels so good too. Try it guys, you're gonna love it. Have a great night. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, please share around my channel and please send me some comments. If you have any questions, I'll answer any questions you have. Thanks a lot for watching, everybody. Have a good night. Bye.